Now, my point is this in reading this story about the prophet that lied. It is this. If God tells you to do something in his word, you better do it. And don't find excuses not to do it. When you read something in the Bible, like these are the beasts that are meant for human consumption. These are the clean beasts which you shall eat. These are the unclean beasts which you shall not eat. When you find something in the Bible, don't look for excuses not to do it. And it just seems to me that there are all kinds of people doing just, just that. Looking for excuses. And often they will look for excuses. Guess where they look for? Guess where they look to? They look to their preacher. They ask their preacher. Now, if your preacher is telling you, we don't have to do that. I, too, am a man of God. And you can eat whatever you want to eat. You don't have to keep those old dietary laws. That's in the Old Testament. That's Mosaic. That's Jewish. That's, that's not for us. You know, if he's telling you that, He's just another lying prophet. And it seems that churches today, behind pulpits, you have a lot of them. Just another lying prophet. I'm David Freeman, and that's what's really in your Bible. Are you concerned about your personal health? Is God, the creator and designer of the human body, concerned about your health? Are there instructions in the Bible that is directly related to your personal health? When it comes to your personal health, God will not do for you what you can do for yourself. And the one thing that you can do for yourself is to follow God's dietary laws. Order your free copy of What's on Your Plate to get a better understanding of the foods that may be destroying your health. Order by writing to Church of God Rocky Mount. 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. That's Church of God, Rocky Mount. 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. Also, check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com. This program has been paid for by the tithes and offerings of the Church of God Rocky Mount and friends of this ministry. If you have been challenged by listening to this program, then consider that a great blessing. You can visit us on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.net. It is the support of people like you that make this ministry possible. If you have been blessed by this understanding given to you today, then consider making a donation by writing to Church of God Rocky Mount. 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. That's Church of God, Rocky Mount. 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. If you would like more information or if you have any questions, write to Is That Really in the Bible? 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. Or visit us on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.net.